Hello, this is Sarah Brush. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a video thanking Jeffrey Rush, the famous Australian actor from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies and a million other movies. He recently, it was actually at the beginning of July, but he had a really stunning legal victory in court against Sydney's Daily Telegraph. I think that's the right name. I think that's the right name of the newspaper. Uh, one of the, and it's a newspaper owned by uh, Murdoch. And uh, so anyway, so he had a really stunning legal victory in court against them. Um, the court upheld uh, a substantial award monetary award to Jeffrey Rush. I believe it was a record-breaking monetary award for a defamation case, I believe. Um, I'll double check. But anyway, so uh, Jeffrey Rush had been, per him, falsely accused of sexual harassment and these false accusations, he was defamed by Sydney's Daily Telegraph. Uh, the newspaper and uh, then Jeffrey Rush obviously subsequently sued them for defamation and won and was awarded a very substantial monetary award. And I just want to say, this is going to be a quick video, but I had said when I had previously done the video thanking Johnny Depp for he's in currently enduring his defamation suit against the Sun in the UK, which looks like it's probably just a horrifying ordeal for him. And I think made a video to thank him for enduring that. Uh, and I want, said that I wanted to do a video thanking Jeffrey Rush for enduring his defamation suit and for securing this amazing legal victory because I obviously may never get my day in court. I don't have the resources that Johnny Depp has. I don't have the resources that Jeffrey Rush has. I may never get my day in court. I may never get my day in court against Yale. I may never get my day in court against the entire moral outrage industry who told disgusting lies about me that almost got me killed from the New York Times, LA Times, Washington Post, CNN, MSNBC, NBC News. The list just goes on and on and on. They all told disgusting lies about me at the behest of the Yale administration that almost got me killed, that destroyed my lifelong human and civil rights, academic and legal careers. I will never be able to get a job. I will never be able to support myself. I'm still more or less in hiding. I'm still deluged with death threats and threats of violence. I still am intermittently suicidal. Um, I can't even tell you how many times I almost killed myself. I will probably never get my day in court because I don't have the money. Because I don't have the money. And that's a really sad commentary on our legal system, on our civil courts on our ability, especially with respect to defamation that occurs on social media sites like Twitter and Facebook. Um, Facebook still allows Lolata Siambola to have up the video that she took of me on May 8th, 2018, which was the grossest violation of my privacy. It's the middle of the night. I'm standing the threshold of my own isolated dorm room, Yale dorm room. And it was perfectly obvious that that video is a campaign to publicly shame me for my mental health disabilities. And Facebook still allows Lolata Siambola to have that up on its site. And our legal system, our laws, our legislators have to catch up to the reality that we're living in, that trial by Twitter is taking place based on snippets of grossly violative and out of context iPhone video and this is destroying our legal system, it's destroying our egalitarian public space, it's destroying the American constitutional principle of due process, it's destroying us, it's destroying us, it is destroying us and we have to do something about this. 
and as loath as I am to criminalize behavior, I'm not sure that there's much else that we can do besides criminalizing the act of putting a video up on social media sites of private citizen nobodies without their consent and or knowledge. I'm not sure that we have much other recourse. I'm not sure what else to do. But I just wanted to make this quick video to thank Jeffrey Rush. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm going to try not to cry. <laughs> try not to cry. Um, your victory is not just a victory for you. It's a victory for all of us. For all of us who have been falsely accused. You were falsely accused of sexual harassment. I was falsely accused of racial harassment. I am the entirely innocent victim of the living or not being well black hate crime hoax at Yale in which the Yale administration and police were complicit and they subsequently led the global defamation and vilification campaign against me and orchestrated the response of the moral outrage industry. And uh, I will probably never get my day in court. I will probably never get my day in court. I'm still awaiting the response of the Connecticut Freedom of Information Commission. I'm still fighting to get the Yale campus police body camera footage, which exposes the gross malfeasance of the Yale administration and police. And I'm still waiting for the result of my FERPA request for all of the internal emails, which I believe will reveal the complicity of the Yale administration and police in the living or napping while black hate crime hoax at Yale as well as a number of other entities including New York Times, ACLU, and the list goes on and on. But I will probably forget my day in court and I just have to trust God that I'm being led by God and my guardian angels down a different path to vindication and to justice and I will never stop fighting for justice and light and truth for all of us, for everyone. All of us who have been the victims of cancel culture, especially the ones who have already committed suicide. But I just want to thank Jeffrey Rush. I want to thank you because your legal victory is for all of us. And I know it wasn't easy to go through that, even with all of your resources. And I, I know it wasn't easy to be falsely accused of sexual harassment and to have this bandied about in the moral outrage industry and in the newspapers as entertainment for the masses. But I just want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. You did it for me. You did it for all of us. You did it for all of us and I will never stop fighting for justice for all of us too. Okay, I'm gonna have my PayPal me and GoFundMe links below. Um, Please, if you can, support my legal fund so that I can at least sue Yale, hopefully, for their gross violations of my federal civil rights. Thank you so much. I'm only alive because of my supporters. Thank you. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.